What's up, guys? Joe here. I guess getting ready to do another one. Uh, tidy up the garage around here a little bit, clean up. Threw one stuff off to the side there. Um, move some things around the garage here because what I'm going to do in this one, uh, kind of going to revert back to a previous project. And I was working on there a few months ago. So, uh, show you what's up. So, here's the bed to my 88 Scottsdale back there. Where we left off on it was we did the cab corners and the rocker and things like that on it. That all in primer, primer and everything. The next step is I gotta clean up the frame of that thing and some other things there while it's off the bed. But I'd like to have this, the underside at least, where all the mounting surfaces are and everything cleaned up, undercoated and ready, and hopefully nothing needs to pad under there too much. So what I'm gonna do is I got some to make, make some room in the garage there, move some, had to move that car around or something. And uh, I got some moving dollies I'm gonna put under four corners of it so I can roll it into the garage. And since I ain't got no buddies to help me stand it up or nothing or any equipment like that, I'm gonna use my big jack stands, I guess, and put it up on jack stands just high enough that I can get under it. And Hopefully it's secure, you know, so it don't crush me, but I doubt it will. It should be fine. Um, so yeah, that's what I gotta do. I gotta shuffle some stuff around here and uh, get that taken care of. So set you up while I do that, I guess. All right, guys. Got her back in here. Or got her in the garage here. Sorry. Um. I uh, got her on jack stands and stuff here, off camera. Uh. So yeah, let's look at what we're working with here. Ugh, this floor's a little cold. The weather's been a little nicer though. So. I mean, overall, it don't look too bad. Just around the mounting points. I think the passenger side isn't as bad. This side, pretty scaly. I don't know what I'll find once I go scraping some of that off there. Um, so yeah, it's mainly just on the rails. And then once I address those areas, clean them up. Just kind of go over the rest of it real quick, I think. So some of this I do on and off camera. So I'll probably get to scraping some things here and checking her out, and then come back to you. I don't think I need to show you how to scrape up this stuff off. Maybe I'll time lapse it. I don't know, but. So, yeah, that's where I'm at. <sighs> All right. So, these two I scraped off here, two areas. Driver's side, maybe it's not as bad as I thought on this side. Um, nothing went through. That one little pad thing on the bottom is kind of hanging there a little bit, but maybe I'll tack that back up later. I don't know. Um, still got to scrape this stuff off more and clean it up, but yeah, I mean, so far, 
it's still pretty solid. So I'll probably go around and get these other ones and come back here. Damn, this floor, this floor is cold. It's starting to get cold again well, in the evenings. But this stupid light here don't won't stay on for some reason. I never really do use it. And now I know why. Uh, not bad, Matt. Get up. up. All right, so I'll, always, I'll do some of that off camera. Uh, next thing I film will probably be going over with the wire wheel. I don't want to play with this guy. Hold on, I got a, I got a phone call coming in. Well, scraping around under here, got most of this cross seals. Most of these cross seals, uh, the loose rust scraped off of them. But I found this on this one. I think it's the only one. So if the camera's screwed up there. But, uh, I don't know how much more it is, but. I have to try to clean that up or see how much good metals I earn. Try to cut some of that out or something and then put some kind of a patch over it. Depends on how good it welds, how good of a repair I'll do there, but if it, if it just keeps blowing holes in it, I might just fiberglass it or seam seal or something along those lines. I'm not doing this whole cross sill over that one piece, one area right there. I mean, it's actually pretty good under here, but they all just need cleaned up. I still got the back one there, and then overall to kind of hit with the wire wheel. But that all happened in time. I think I want to focus on this area right here for right now. And then once everything's all cleaned up and wire wheeled, I can just blow her all off and Spray with some undercoating. So I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and come back and see what we have. Alright, so I'm going to fix this kind of half-assed. I'm going to try to anyway. Got some old uh, sheet metal toolbox, old toolbox material here. I think that's got powder coat or something on it because that paint or whatever ain't coming off as easy and i vaguely remember this stuff giving me problems before on the toolbox it came off of i was trying to combine two and weld shit together but i saved the metal anyway but we'll see how this was if i can just get it a couple half-assed tacks around there somewhere i'll just seam seal around it i'm not getting too crazy with this repair right here I ever had to remove it later on down the road i just get a whole sill but right now it's not in the budget and i feel like it's going to take longer than it should so i mean i could just self taper that there and be done with it but i'm not saying this is the right way to do it but that's how i'm going to do it so i just don't feel like dealing with it I'll know what will happen. I'll fix that one spot, put a bunch of time into it, and then the rest of it over time will be rusted out. I don't know. It'll be all right. So I'm going to put a few tacks on here and call that good probably. Again, not not exactly the right way to do it, but it could work. All right, well... <sighs> That's about all I'm going to get out of her. Tacked her on there some. I ain't really worried about that upper flange. Uh, I won't weld on it too much because it'll just blow out. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what I do. But for this evening, that's all I'm going to do as far as that. Let that cool off and everything. Do a little here at a time in the evenings. Because I'm in really no rush. I, you know, can't help it. 
Um, it would take time getting some of the things I need for the uh, engine to the cab. There's a little not Cavalier Sunbird. That three one to finish it up. Uh, so I'm just gonna be patient, wait on some things there. Things I got order, so I can work on this during that time. Cause I ain't got a a lot going on that I can afford to do all at the same time. So just do the stuff when I can, and it'll eventually be out. So. Uh, yep, so where I'm at, you know, once I, I may weld this more, I don't know, but eventually I'll just finish it off, smear some seam seal around it, call it good, and clean up the rest of this and undercoat it all. So, when I continue that, I'll be back. Alright, a couple days later here. I did end up going back and welding around there more. A little better than I expected. Still with some ugly welds, but good enough. Hell, if I'd have, if I'd have thought it went that well, I would have cut out that area instead. I just put that over top of it, but clean it up more under here and load it down with undercoating. Maybe some rust converter on these rustier spots. It should last a little while. Also, I want to, I don't know if you can see it, oh, actually it's right there, that pad there on the bottom of the rail kind of hangs down, it's like the pad that's under that, that one's hanging a little bit, but I might clean that up and uh, put a little bead on that too, and then I'll get back to just cleaning up all this under here and all the areas on the rails that are dirty or rusty and dirty and ones ain't so bad back here um, yeah these ain't too bad actually this whole where am I at here yeah the, I guess the passenger side of the bed everything looks pretty good underneath well, I had to weld anything, but I'll get to welding that piece up there. And start wire wheeling this some more. I'll probably wheel I wheel it and go over all the areas here and uh, hit the rusty areas with rust converter, and I might even get some of that rusted metal primer spray on them, and then undercoat it all. So, all right, I'll be back. Well, got that done under there. Uh, it's actually the next morning, well, afternoon. Not late, it's a later start than I wanted. Um, we're gonna Go ahead and uh, uh, got out the uh, old belly poker here. There's many names for it that others use on here. Um, the old wire cup wheel. And go over all those rusted rails again and go underneath the bed here, I guess. I'll film what I can. Kind of hard to film up working under something though. But yeah, so I'm gonna get on doing that and see where, see how far I get to here this afternoon and take it from there. So, all right. few hours later um i've been busting busting hard underneath there 
off camera trying to get that cleaned up under there got most of it um as you can tell i'm i'm wearing it it's a hell of a mess but uh let me show you here all the dirt you see under here exception a few leaves and stuff that's from this um damn it i i got most of it cleaned up best i can but uh, i gotta do under this part here yet where the uh wiring harness runs and stuff i'll probably pull that out wasn't thinking about it or planning on it but um there's there's some stuff here on each side if i can get it in the, the view here see there the remnants there of uh like a bracket or just some piece of support and i got that on both sides see that piece way down there it's rusty too but since it really ain't doing nothing, I think I'm gonna just delete on that and cut that out there somehow and and just clean up up in here. This is a little chewy up here, but I'll probably just clean it up too and hit it with undercoat. That's a problem for down the road, maybe. Maybe it won't be my problem by then, but I'm not getting too crazy under here. At least not for now. So I'll probably do that tomorrow here. I got, it's about, it's after four. It's probably about 4.30, plus five now. Um, I, uh, got some other things to tend to here um, this evening and uh, some YouTube related things here that I gotta take care of. I'm trying to get it back in the swing of things, like I said. Uh, some editing stuff and thumbnails and things some new things i'm trying here um so i gotta do make time to do that this evening i want i'm hoping to maybe try to get video up tomorrow because it's been probably about a month since i released a video which ain't good i know but i do what i gotta do so but at least the way i'm doing things here lately this week or last week whatever last two weeks maybe time that's out i'll be ahead two videos so maybe something pop up to work on to keep keep ahead but can't guarantee it but anyway i'll come back work on that tomorrow i guess under there that i showed you and then clean it up continue prepping this a little bit more and uh i'll probably find the bed bolts and um See if I got a tap big enough and go around and clean out all them threads on the bolt holes in the bed too. And once that's done, I can pretty much just blur off, clean up here a little bit and get ready to spray a little primer and some undercoating or whatever I decide to do there. But I got time here. I'm no real rush because if I rush and do like some of y'all are probably claiming as you're watching my videos, I'll hurry up, get shit done. But for me and the budget and the time, uh, I'll be hurrying up and waiting and then I'd have nothing to do, possibly. So, I've got plenty of time to do some of these things. Plus, I'm still waiting on some stuff for the 3-1 and the sun turd sitting out there. Alright, I'm, I'm done rambling. What's up? Joe here. It's next afternoon. Uh get into it here uh i'm gonna work on this area underneath here that i showed you there when the last scene there um but i'm gonna take these uh tail lights out first and uh, harness to them and then figure out where i'm going from there so yeah All right, I'm mic'd up this time. Most of this video, I probably forgot to put that on, so. Sound sucks previous to this, sorry. Anyway, 
Let that wiring harness out of there. I'm gonna take care of body saw, like a little saw saw deal I got here, and uh, cut out what I can of that rusted stuff there. <clears throat> Same with over here. There's more of it on this side. I mean, I think it's just a little bit of structural, but I don't think it's hurting anything not to be in there because it's barely there now. So I'm just going to chop it out and leave it out. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get up in here now since the, uh, the wiring harness is out of the way. I ain't going to get too perfect with it. Just mainly hit these really rusty areas and And then we'll prep her up and get her ready to spray, I guess. Uh, I must have been getting tired of doing this yesterday because I totally did not go over that area. Hmm. Well, hell. I thought I got them all. Oh well, I may do that off camera. Well, I know it will. But right now we're concentrating on this. Alright, well, did all that under there. I didn't film what I tried to. It was hard to get a view on things. Um, I ended up taking the air hammer to get those uh, bracket or supports or whatever I was going to call them there that were rusted out. There, the body saw wasn't working out, so I just knocked them out of there with best I could with the uh, old air hammer air chisel there. Uh, <clears throat> did clean up under here a little bit more, and ain't perfect. I did hit it. I'm gonna put rust converter on any of the still rusty looking areas before I do any of that. I'll probably go under here with brake clean or something and a rag and just kind of wipe everything. Any dirt I missed or try to. It won't be perfect, but it's better than not doing anything with it. So yeah, like I said, I got got those areas out of there. Can see where they once were. Kind of some remnants there, but I ain't worried about those. So the next thing I'll probably do is call, I'll get the bed bolts there. See if I got a tap. Go clean all the bed holes out while it's out, and then that'll be it until I spray everything with undercoating, and whatever else. So yeah, I'll do that. I might film that, I don't know. It's kind of hard to film under here, so sorry if there's not a lot of action in this one. If this was stood up on end, it'd be different, but I can't do that by myself. And I don't got enough room in the garage. And if I stayed it up out there, it'd probably be up there like that for a while, and I'll worry about a windy day knocking it down and causing more damage. Gotta do what I gotta do, I guess. So that's where we're at. Alright. Take two. Um, I didn't find a tap. I don't have one big enough. So I'm going to take one of the bolts here. Maybe do things up. You can tell I started already. Because I wasn't recording. Put it on both. And then I'm going to run, uh, run it in and out a little bit. Just to clean up the threads, I guess. Hopefully this works.
Alright, do this on some of the other ones here. It's basically what we're doing all of them, so I'll probably just do those in time lapse. Well, that's probably about all I'll do today. Next step will be uh, prepping, wiping, cleaning everything, wiping her down underneath, and spraying anything I need to spray under there. I do not just clean those threads on them bolts, bolt holes. Probably spray carb cleaner or not, right clean or something in there. Get that excess PB blaster out because I don't want that to affect the. Undercurrent, but then again, might just put the uh, might make more sense just to put all the bolts in and cover the holes up. So, well, yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll come back when we're doing that, I guess. What's up, guys? Joe here. Um, it's the following Friday, been a few days since I messed with this truck bed. It, it kind of decided to give us some more winter this week, too, so I've been out here a lot. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll blow out from under here, the bottom side of the bed itself. I'm not going to go too crazy prepping that, as far as I may just uh, kind of carelessly wipe things down under there after I blow it off, maybe hit it with a tack cloth or something, but... I'm not used to getting too perfect with it. It's the underside, and I don't think it's really going to hurt the uh, undercoating or whatever else sticking to it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm at least going to um, <clears throat> hold on here. I'm at least going to hit all the rusted areas, some of this stuff before we. Uh, well, speaking of winter. We're supposed to get some more uh, snow here tonight into tomorrow. So I figure I'll go ahead and try to get this done. I may do that wiping down, prepping part off camera. I'm not sure. Probably will. It's just boring. Wiping down and all that stuff. So, um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray that on there and let that settle overnight. Or, Till Sunday or something. I'm not in no real big hurry. Still got to order some parts for the three one there. I got covered up. Um, just been taking my time ordering things because just can't afford it lately. Things that used to be cheap. You got you got a budget things you could just buy anytime you want now. It's it's ridiculous. That's my short rant. Hopefully some of y'all out there understand, but I picked a hell of a year to do this YouTube thing. Or hell of a time, I guess. What a lot of these guys that started doing this in the last few years or whatever. What I've noticed, you don't find this out right away. And I'm not knocking them because I enjoy their content. I'm, I may be, seem a little salty because my content ain't doing that great. But I'm trying to improve on that. And um, I'm learning some of that's my error. Some of it is just things I don't understand yet. But anyway, like I was saying. A lot of those guys, even though they weren't doing this kind of stuff. Or stuff they do that they love. It's their passion just like this is mine. <clears throat> they they were still making decent money at their whatever jobs they had previous so they could really kind of afford to do this more than possibly me at the moment i just kind of took a gamble and said hell with it quit thinking about it. just start doing it here the, the other year when i started doing it but anyway that's my rant i'm done rambling i'm gonna get to prepping this thing and i'll come back all right well I wiped her down underneath there off camera. And some of that stuff. Big, big watch shop towels. Didn't really. We only got some dirt off her, but 
It really didn't make much difference under there. Probably wasn't even necessary. I'm going to let that stuff flash off, dry off here a little bit, and then we'll come back and uh, pin any of the rust spots with rust converter and then let that sit a day or so or something. Because it's going to be cold this weekend too, so I'd rather be a little bit warmer, maybe. Undercoating takes enough time to dry as it is, so plus adhere to that metal. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let that sit. I'm gonna go play ball with Bear for a little bit, I guess, and come back. What's up, guys? By the way, I keep forgetting the mic up because I'm not used to having this thing. So you still can't hear things good. I'm sorry. I'll try to improve it in editing if I have to. Um, so that being said, I guess I'll go ahead and start <coughs> spraying some stuff under here. I don't know if I'll film every aspect of this, but I'll try to show you some. It's kind of difficult to do this. It's difficult to do stuff and film under here. I'm just getting all the rusty spots. Oh shit. Well, that, that works different than what I'm used to. That's already black. I thought it changed color. Oh well. That works too, I guess. Screw it. <sighs> Harder to do than I thought it would be. <coughs> Yeah, I thought this was that stuff that, like, you put it on, it goes on clear, and then it changes black. This stuff's already black. This is my first time using this kind. Basically, I guess I'm just getting all the mounting pads, mounting surfaces, because that's where it was really rusty. Then we'll come back under here. Hard to see without good light, too. Come back under here later and uh, seam seal around where I watered that patch in, too. That's crazy. Well, I think I'm going to finish this up, and then I'll come back to you guys. You get the gist. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, later here in the week. Um, Tuesday evening, actually. Um, I'm going to go ahead and undercoat this bed. I'm not worried about wiping it down or nothing like before. Uh, I did it that one time. It's just the underside, and it ain't got to look like pristine topside stuff and I'm sure it'll stick just fine. I'm gonna spray over whatever's under there. I care if it's dirt, rust, old paint, I don't care. So I'm gonna take my uh most leftover stuff well uh, the same truck I used there a while back when I did the body work on it on the cab. So I'm gonna stuff from um Harbor Freight six dollars and something a can more than thirteen dollars and something or more because that's my budget keep work just fine for us average people this ain't no concourse restoration this is fixing up this truck as a nice you can take it to the show you can take it for ice cream you can drive it to work every day it wouldn't matter 
I mean, the, with the gas mileage it gets, you probably won't drive it every day. But anyhow, this thing, it's two-wheel drive, and where I'm at, a lot of people will just scoff, oh, it's not a four-wheel drive, like they're superior or something. Two-wheel drives can be nice, too. Anyway, this is getting a lot more love than what most around here would probably give it, in my opinion, in the condition that I got it. Because not enough people, a lot of people can't do the body work. They see a little rust, they freak out. Oh, it's a parts truck. No. It's a challenge. And I accept. But anyhow... I'm going to get to doing that. I already gathered up all the bed bolts, put them in all the holes underneath, so I wouldn't get no rubber stuff up in the threads there. I try to film this the best of my ability. I may do it in regular time and possibly change later to time lapse. Mainly for my sanity and not to bore you guys. However, you guys got to let me know what you like more. I've been trying different things. Time lapse, skipping, doing certain things off camera. What do you want to see? Do you even care to see what I'm doing? I don't get a lot of comments or feedback from from y'all, let alone YouTube. I'm a little struggling channel. I am the real deal. I am the struggle. I'm like most of you guys out there. Despite how it may look to some. But it's complicated. Anyhow, we're all struggling in these times, so, and I refuse to give up, not do anything with my life or any of that stuff. So I'm going to keep working on this stuff, try to give you guys some decent content. I'd appreciate any feedback, help, but, you know, like, share, subscribe, like I always say, and let your friends know. I mean... Like I said, I ain't getting no feedback. Nobody's telling me I'm boring or anything like that. I see more boring people than me on, on here with better stats than I have. That have been on here less time, which is crazy. The better channel gets, the better projects can I can get, the better things I can do. I mean, it all benefits you guys, really. It may not benefit me a whole lot. I don't even know yet. I'm not to that point. If this channel got to where I made money off of it, which will be a long time probably, I'd just be happy to cover my expenses of doing this stuff on the cheap. Well, here goes nothing. I think I'm going to hit all the bed rails first. I may hit this back part last, I don't know. Um, I had to come back and move the jack stand sometime and get them spots, but that can come later. Where am I pointing here? Christ. I'm going to screw this up, ain't it? Try to get this for y'all. I'll probably do light coats here at first. I need light. So I'll hit these rails first and then I'll hit the ribbed areas. This ain't easy.
Uh, dang light. Uh. I don't want need to readjust. Alright, just down here on my old man back, trying to do this the hard way. Good this how much good quality I'm giving you here, but trying. It's a little bit of a struggle. Uh, how much can I scoot around without getting it on me? Light. <clears throat> this is a fun. I, I mean, this is fun. Have I ever told you how fun this is? Still not as bad as when I was under here wire wheeling, so there's that. Oh my. Things I do. Oh. This part probably would take some extensive editing. I don't know if I told you or not, but I did seem to see around where I patched that. It's ugly, but nothing little undercoat won't hide. See that? Good as used. I think I'm gonna do these rails and then either for time lapse or do the rest off camera. Because this is a pain in the ass. I'm probably getting spritzed with undercoating on the face. So I'll be all speckled up. I'm here at light. Dead. You know what? I think I'm gonna just go ahead and finish off these rails here off camera. Then I'll come back 
So, in this scene here, I, uh, for some reason, lost sound. Basically, I was uh, saying that I ran out of undercoating and uh, just going over where I was there. I don't remember exactly what I said in here, but yeah, something happened with the uh, um, mic or something, and I just lost sound here. So, I'm just gonna let this play out here and uh, Everything after this should be good, so. Well guys, it's a few days later here. Um, got some more uh, undercoating. Got four cans this time. So I guess we'll go ahead and see how far they go. And uh, come back when I'm done. See what we ended up with. Well, as far as I know, I got it all. I know I had to touch up where the uh, jack stands are, and uh, anything else I find, I'll probably do that tomorrow. And uh, we'll be wrapping this up. But for the most part, it's undercoated, and I think I still got. Half quarter of a can left. Well, out of the can and a quarter, maybe. I didn't even get the last one. But I'm calling that good. So I'll check her out there tomorrow some more. That's it for this evening. We'll wrap this up tomorrow. I'll see you then. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's it. I uh, touched up some areas there and finished her up. I'm going to finish clearing this stuff out the back here and, and uh, get her back down on the moving dollies and scoot her on back out here to sit till she's ready to go on. So, uh, yeah, so like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, comment. Let me know what you think about things. Tell your friends and all that good stuff. Um, hopefully the sound is working right now. Um, so yeah. I'm going to try to keep things going here best I can. Keep my eye out for any new projects I can pick up cheap or whatever. So next video will probably be on that thing. Parts. Well, some parts are here. Waiting on a gasket and then kind of get back to where we was on that But anyway Thanks for watching I'm gonna get to taking care of this and get it on out of here And uh, I got some editing to do So I should get this video ready to hopefully for tomorrow Which I didn't think was gonna happen, but maybe it will now All right like, share, subscribe. Joe out. Hey Bear, you gonna help me push this out? Go help? Or you, you just wanna play ball? It's okay, I got it.